there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, October the 18th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. A really nice day in store for North and Central Alabama. In fact, we're going to issue a perfect weather warning for today. That gives us a little luxury to talk about some other things in the weather department today. First, October 18th is the date that um, we mark as the earliest freeze ever in Birmingham history. It uh, happened back uh, in um, 1948. Um, you see it right here, October the 18th, 31 degrees on that date uh, back in that year. Um, mark the earliest freeze that we've ever seen. Uh, you have to go back to April the 23rd. That's the latest freeze um, we've ever seen in Birmingham. We were 30 degrees on that day. I think it's safe to say that we won't see freezing um, over the next um, two weeks, certainly into November, so we're not going to be breaking any records. We were close yesterday, uh, 40 at Birmingham, so not technically very close, but several locations in North Alabama posted lows um 34, 35 degrees, so um, it was quite a chilly morning, not quite so cold this morning. Let's go to the map wall, though, and uh, take a look at uh, what's going on across the United States and North America. <clears throat> this is at 300 millibars. That's up at about 30,000 feet. Shows where those jet stream winds are. We see a big, broad trough uh, across much of the United States this morning, and uh, that's um, going to kind of stay in place. Uh, reinforced by a couple of uh, upper-level disturbances that will be swinging across. That's given us the cool weather that we've seen, but our weather is going to be warming up. Our weather, uh, our temperature is mainly influenced by this big ridge of high pressure uh, ridging down from the northeast all across the Appalachians. You can see uh, a southeasterly flow around it. We'll see that southeasterly flow begin to move into Alabama today. This catches your eye out here on the surface chart. Uh, that's a, a, a non-tropical low that's about 500 miles uh, east-southeast of Bermuda this morning. It's sort of meandering to the southwest. That has a really good chance of becoming a subtropical or tropical storm in the next couple of days, according to the National Hurricane Center. It should continue moving to the south and southwest, maybe even uh, describing a loop over the next couple of days before beginning to move to the to the west and then the northwest and then eventually to the northeast. Um, but we probably will deal with that. That's probably not going to be the main system we talk about in the tropics. I think something will develop in the western Caribbean, move across Cuba and uh, through the Bahamas. That's going to all start next weekend. We'll be watching that as we go through time. Now, something interesting, uh, late last night, I'll go back just a couple of uh, frames here. It was really strong uh, low-level jet uh, last evening from uh, northeastern Texas all the way into the Great Lakes. You can see sort of the vestiges of it here uh, as it weakened overnight. But that could cause some gusty winds across uh, uh, parts of western Alabama today, uh, especially this morning, maybe gusting up to about 15 to 20 miles an hour as some of those winds work down to the surface before that low-level jet gets out of here. Now, precipitable water. It's really dry across Alabama right now. You've noticed the really crisp uh, uh, feel to the air. That's going to be changing as that uh, ridge breaks down. We get southeasterly flow into here. There's been a really good flow into the Arklatex uh, yesterday. You saw that on that low-level jet pulling that moisture northward. They had clouds and showers in that region. Uh, Alabama will gradually begin to moisten up. We'll see dew points returning to the 50s today. And then uh, by Wednesday, we're going to see dew points uh, back to around 65. So it's going to feel quite humid by Wednesday afternoon. Uh, but it's going to be a beautiful week through Thursday. Uh, mostly dry and sunny conditions uh, in place across Alabama. Look at here. There's that uh, tropical or subtropical storm that we'll be watching. That's going to be Epsilon, uh, most likely. Uh, this is uh, the uh, NAM showing us uh, just uh, re reflectivity, what it expects. You can see Alabama high and dry today. Uh, kind of looking at maybe a shower tonight there on the NAM, but I don't think that's going to happen. You can see that front to the north of Alabama it begins to retreat back, and a second front makes a run at us uh, for later in the week. But again, the system uh, out in the Atlantic uh, looks kind of impressive right there. Not that it's going to be impressive. It won't cause any impact to the United States. Uh, high temperatures today are going to be beautiful. 
middle 70s across the Tennessee Valley. Might not get out of the lower 70s. A few spots in northeast Alabama might stay in the upper 60s. But most of us are going to be in the upper 70s today. And um, with a good supply of sunshine, low humidities, and generally light winds, except for those gusty winds this morning, it's going to be an absolutely perfect day, a great day to get out and enjoy October weather in Alabama. Now, the 700 millibars, that's where we look at for uh, general cloudiness. And you can see no high levels of humidity over Alabama or anywhere close uh, to us. So we should stay uh, in in a generally sunny pattern, just uh, mostly sunny to occasionally partly cloudy uh, through midweek before things begin to change. And uh, this is um, the dew point gradient. Uh, showing those um, those dew points beginning to rise as we move toward uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, you see 60-degree uh, dew points moving into Alabama. All right, model fans, here's the GFS starting out for your Sunday here. Shows that ridge of high pressure over the eastern United States, Alabama, high and dry again today. As we go through the rest of the day, still high and dry. Nothing going on here, cold front to our north. And as we move into Monday, it's more of the same. Maybe a shower over southwestern Alabama uh, late Monday, Monday night, but we should remain mainly dry as the high-pressure ridge remains intact. Uh, Tuesday, more of the same. We're going to be near 80 on Monday, lower 80s by Tuesday. Should be still a good supply of sunshine. Uh, increasing humidity as we go through time and uh, warm for Tuesday, again, lower 80s. And as we head toward Wednesday, more of the same. Warmest day of the week, probably 82, 83 for the highs. Dew points, though, rising back to about 62 to 65, so it's begin to feel a little uncomfortable again, uh, more reminiscent of um, late May or early June um, than this cooler weather, cooler uh, weather and lower humidity that we've been experiencing lately. And then as we go toward Thursday, a few showers begin to show up, front approaching, uh, beginning to approach from the north, but moisture levels increasing to the point that we see actually scattered showers and thunderstorms developing across Alabama by late in the day on Thursday. And that will continue as that front moves our way on Friday. Uh, good chance of showers and thunderstorms by Friday night into Saturday. Uh, subsequent runs of the GFS may indicate that this may be a little overdone, but we'll call for scattered showers and thunderstorms on Friday. Uh, continuing into Saturday. We'll still be near 80 on Friday, but probably don't get out of the middle 70s on Saturday and Sunday with that system there. You see the original tropical system out there still meandering by the weekend and uh, the beginning of the probably what will be the main system over the Western Caribbean at that point. Uh, we'll go through time. The front begins to wash out over Alabama. The tropical system begins to get its act together. And as we go through time, uh, the front washes out by Sunday. Uh, most of uh, We remain mostly dry probably across Alabama, according to this look. And then by Monday, it looks like mostly dry, but the front is another front is knocking on our door. The tropical storm or hurricane has moved through the Bahamas, and it's beginning to move to the northeast. Looks like it's no threat to Florida, though. Uh, but that front drops on through Alabama by Tuesday night into Wednesday, and uh, that looks like it will spell some cooler air. Um, we stay warm until that period, but uh, after that, we won't get cold, but we'll see temperatures that are more typical of uh, late October, probably upper 60s and lower 70s for your daytime highs, overnight lows uh, in the 50s. And then as we go on through time, looks like high pressure settles in through the uh, 30th and 31st, remains with us. And if you notice that a tropical system uh, kind of backed up as the ridge developed to its north, weakened and moved back to the southwest. So we'll be watching that closely because, um, you know, that's still going to be interesting in the tropics for sure as we go through time. But going on out to the period, uh, Monday, November 2nd, looks high and dry across Alabama. Uh, high temperatures and high and low temperatures off the national blend of models uh, look like this. Um, you know, 77 today, 80 tomorrow, 83 Tuesday, 84 Wednesday looks like the warmest day. A little bit cooler for the weekend with the uh, front and the showers in the area. Then we begin to gradually trend down, but no real cold air in sight. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, the 18th of October. I'll have notes on the blog, complete update on the forecast coming up for you at noon. I'll have the video and all the forecasts all week 
uh, right here for you because James will be on vacation. So it'll be a busy office in the weather in the weather department while James is away on vacation. But until I get to talk to you again next tomorrow morning, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.